Hello my fellow thespians, my name is Victor Mandragon and I am one of you, part of the International Thespian Society. In our International Thespian Society, um, thespians aren't getting as much recognition as other clubs or sports or anything like that. Whatever. And this is the purpose for this video, to show you what us thespians do. Tomorrow we're going to regionals, which is competition, where all the schools around Las Vegas get together and they compete. And the guy, the person who gets the, you know, the higher scores get to be showcased. And I'm going to show you how fun thespians are really are. Sure. These are two fellow thespians, Elijah Debu and Michael Armar. Is there a search function? Or Not yet. So, the purpose for this documentary is for, you know, to show people what thespians actually do. That's right. And, you know, tomorrow we have regionals and, you know, and these are my two best friends and they're going to be sleeping over tonight. And tomorrow, you know, all the fun is really going to begin. Yep. Now, here is Michael Armar. Uh, another fellow thespian. So, Michael Armour, tell me, what has theater done to you? Well, it's given me something to do until I can get a ride home. <laughs> I live like 20 minutes away, and my parents don't get off work till 5, so theater gives me something to do until 5 o'clock each day. So, theater is really important to you? <laughs> yes. And you, you want some recognition? into, you know, the theater arts. Definitely. All right, words from Michael. Okay, I'm sorry about that interruption. Thanks, Michael. But, okay, where was I? Sorry, it won't happen again. Thank you, that's what I thought. The people. <sighs> okay, we're gonna edit this out, right? Maybe. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, Probably. when you're, when you put a kid in theater. about pop artists who don't have talent. Yes, I know, yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, when you put a kid in the theater, you put them outside of their t little teenage shell, all right? Away from Kesha and Justin Bieber and any, any other, you know, really untalented pop star you can come up with. And you you give them hey, a, an Justin art. Justin Bieber's pretty, pretty talented. You gotta get out of here. I mean, he can play guitar. I mean, and he can actually sing differently without using auto-tune. 
Well, yeah, that's true. But, but the thing is, Kesha's untalented. But he's, she's be, very untalented well, because not only does she. Is is my thespian hall. I'm, I'm Victor Mandago, and I am a fellow thespian, won a few awards. I even attended the International Thespian Society, where I attended leadership workshops, where they thought uh, they uh, taught me to become a great leader and a great citizen. Here are my awards I won over, you know, at uh, state and competition, and uh, here's my induction certificate, and here are all the shows I done, and. To be honest, I don't know where I'd be, you know, without without all of this. They really made a big difference in my life. So it's 6.30 right now, and we're getting ready to go to regionals. So Elijah, tell me, how are you feeling? I'm tired. Really? Yeah, four hours of sleep, dude. Do you think you'll be ready for regionals? Hopefully. Hopefully this will help. Yes, it will. What about you, Michael? Good. You ready? Yeah. How is it that of all of us, he's the only one who isn't tired? Uh, oh, he's tired on the inside, right, Michael? No. 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 All right, so let's do this. Yeah. Let's get ready. Yeah. And I am here at Regionals, here at Shadow Ridge. As you can see, this is the theta. Yes. And sign-ups are right there. People are looking up what their IEs are going to be, which is individual event. This is the final day. There's an award ceremony at the end. They're probably going to play a game on the stage. It's going to be it's going to be great. Unfortunately, we're going to stay here till eight, but it's it's right? completely worth. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. People signing up. You know, all thirsty been getting themselves together. And let's see what's inside, shall we? Inside? Yes. Okay. So I'm here with Michael, Elisha, and somebody you haven't met before, Matthew Denny. And we're about to perform Spam a lot from the Monty Python crew. She's blocked, but with broken legs. Exactly. And here we are, ready to perform everything. And then there's my other thespian friends, Thursky and, and her. Hey, how's it going, you guys? Good. Good. And here we are, ready to go on. Woo. So I'm with Matthew Denny. So Matthew, tell me, what, what is theater to you? Theater to me is life right now. Because mm -hmm. I do absolutely nothing but theater, which is amazing. Right. And it consumes all my life, and I love every minute of it. How has doing all this theater event help you with uh, your life? The theater event helped me in my life because it helps me like get easy talking in front of people, if that makes sense. Like, like I can basically talk to a random girl passing by, and that's yeah. cool because I do this in front of of the uh -huh. and it is awesome and fun. Do you think theater deserves more recognition? Um, I do believe theater deserves more recognition. Like, because we do dancing, we do, mm -hmm. we do basically a lot of things, and we don't get credit for it. Mm -hmm. Like, we do singing, dancing, acting, you go through all the motions on stage in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And people don't, uh, I don't think, appreciate that. Wow. Like, for example, right now we're doing originals, like, you know, a theater event. Do, do you think it can be bigger if we had, you know, like a bigger budget? I think it could be a lot bigger. I think we'd actually have it at, like, an actual, like, place, mm -hmm. or, like a stadium or something. All right. Because right now we're at a school, mm -hmm. and they're supplying their own food, their own snacks, but with a bigger budget, and we can get free stuff. Like, All right. Donations. Thank you, Matthew. Without spin. Really? Oh. So, uh, pretty much, in um, originals and competition, after everybody's done, uh, they uh, they get the scores back, and at the very end of regionals, there's this ending ceremony. Who has you know? Excuse me. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. There you go. Nope. 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 Wait. I forgot something. I forgot something. Where at? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. You good? You good? He's good. Okay. So um, in this ending ceremony. Hey, Victor. You have any food? No, I don't. Well, I have the Ritos right there. If you want that, go ahead and have it. I don't want it. So in this ending ceremony, they get all the scores together, and the guy who, uh, the person who got the highest scores of the part of uh, their group, gets to be showcased, which means they get to perform in front of everybody. For example, if you got the highest grade in contrasting monologues, you get to be showcased, and if you get the highest um, gr uh, grade in a in a song, you uh, you get to showcase in front of everybody. So you know that was. Uh, that's the point of regionals, getting showcased, or at least getting a, a, an excellent or a superior to go into state, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, exactly. Wait. Wait. The highest score. The highest. It has to be the highest. Score? It has to be the high score. Only one. Only one group can get showcased. Oh, so not. They can't just choose a certain person who was really good. They have to actually earn the highest score. Exactly. That's what makes competition really tough. Uh, it makes us and, and makes us thespians, you know, work together. You know what? And, I'm controlling the camera hard. here. I control what the people see. All right. All right. And well, that means I'm not getting showcased. Oh, well. Really, and, and that's why everybody's here, wait, waiting for to get the results back and see that. what happens. Uh -huh. And the end storm only. Yeah, uh, first try. Please, <laughs> tell me, how do you think you did with your IE? What? Which one? Um, how about spam a lot? Spam a lot. I think we got an excellent. An excellent? Yeah. Uh, what about superior? Nope. No, nope. um, no one left. So <laughs> if, if 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 you don't get a superior, I would not be surprised. If you got an excellent, I'd be pretty okay with that. Too. Yep, I'll be pretty cool with that. All right, so my my solo uh, for great big stuff. I think I got a superior. For what? Really? No, it's just me. It depends if the judge was writing bad things or good things. Do you think you can get showcased? Yeah, like the tip. Now with those don't possibly not with Ray here. Possibly. <laughs> Hey, this is my good friend Robert from uh, Cheyenne. Uh, so Robert, tell me, why, what are you doing for regionals? I did Left Behind from Spring Awakening for my solo, and then for a duet musical, really? I did The Confrontation. I was Javert, and my friend right there in the car, that's Josh, right there. he did. Right. Yep. <laughs> he was Valjean, so it was from Les Mis. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I love that movie right. and musical. It's fantastic. Yep. All right, so tell me, Robert, Where are they going? Um, what has theater done to you? Um, well, honestly, it's changed my life. I mean, like, before I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, mm -hmm. but then after I joined theater, it showed me how much fun it is, how much I love performing, and so it's right. changed my life completely. And, and you're pizza anymore. Why are you still making okay, And we're all surrounded by, you know, our good theater friends. Yeah, I mean, come on. Look at all these good friends I have. Oh, yeah. Everybody is together. Could hey, you what's hand up, guys? that card to him? Please. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so it's starting. Actually, everybody's getting together right now for the ending ceremony. Where everybody's gonna get the results. So, yeah. so well, now it's the ending ceremony. What are you doing? Ending ceremony. ceremony. And exactly. And everybody's lining up, getting together. And what we have here are the state board members, Nicholas Meek and her, and other members. Uh, what state board is? It's um. Pretty much officers that take care of Nevada, the Nevada thespians. You know they can they host things, they they run things, and they make sure scores get graded and everything get right and everything gets ready. You know. Yeah. Alan, sorry, Colby and Mary. Alan. Alright, so you know, now that regionals is all done, we all get ready for a state coming up. You see, um, I received an excellent in my IE, which is my contrasting monologues. Uh, as you can see here, they made a mistake. I scored good, but it turns out well, I was actually supposed to uh, score an excellent. So, you know, now I'm going. I, I got my ribbon, my, ru uh, my ribbon, and I'm ready to set, already set to go over there. And you know that's not the only good news. Um, I also received you know a full scholarship to the International Thespian Festival right here, so I, I get to go over there for free. So um, pretty much, it's first is regionals, then it's uh, state competition, and then it's internationals. So um, the uh, the problem with internationals it costs like a thousand grand to go there. So that's why people try to do their good on their IEs in state so they can re uh, reach a scholarship but you know I already got a scholarship but then again it'll be really nice you know, to get a you know really high score in my, uh, in my monologues not only that I also have a group scene with you know my good thespian friends so I really gotta Let's practice do that again
Hello, my name is Victor Mandagion and I'm a senior at Liberty High School. Today I'll be performing two monologues, one from The Youngest by Philip Berry and one from The Whole Shebang by Richard Olaf. Enjoy. Now you listen to me, my dear family, and don't you interrupt. Ever since I remember, you guys have been took an unholy pleasure finding new ways to mortify me. Cause I was the youngest. Cause I was different from the rest of you. And I didn't hit back. Don't know whether Mark's been the worst one with his eternal pity nagging. Or you, Oliver, with your stupid idea that I mud is a goddamn duty to finger into shape. Or maybe it's been Augusta with her infernally sharp tongue. Mother's done nothing but follow your orders. Martha's been decent as she could be, with her love for what's funny. But you all had your methods. Yes, that's just the point. Nobody's got any right to make anything out of anyone. My future's my job, and if I fail at it, all right, all right, I'd rather fail in my own with hit the sky and somebody else's. So it was like what last summer ago, and I was having like this, you know, really lousy day. I mean like 100% suck a lousy. First of all, it was like what, 100 degrees outside and 100% humidity. It was so hot. It was even worse inside my house because I just got my air conditioning reupposed. And then the mail came in, you know, and it was all bells. Big ones. I got so mad I didn't know what to do. So I went into my house, turned on the TV, but the thing is I have lousy TV reception so I couldn't see a darn thing. I got so mad I took off my shoe and I threw at the TV. It didn't break. Thank God. Anyway, so I left my house and I went into my backyard. On my way to the backyard, I stopped in the kitchen to go grab myself a beer. Now, are any of you guys beer drinkers? Nope, nope, I guess not. Anyway, when you drink a beer, it's either too cold or not cold enough or just too much foam or just a lousy brand. But this beer, it was delicious. It, it was right. I still remember sitting in my backyard thinking, wow, I'm broke, I'm unemployed, I have a lousy TV reception. But this moment, this moment, huh, was perfect. Thank you. For for state conference, we have to do uh, an opening number. Pretty much, um, it's like a big number, a big show, a scripted show to open state conference saying, hey, welcome to state. And it has, you know, a story and a musical number and everything. This year I'm uh, assistant directing, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. My Oh, yes, it is. How was it? It was fun. Seven ten this morning. Seven. Oh well, yeah, you had it easy. On me, so. Hey. How'd, how'd you get your shirt? Dick, are you around? Yeah. Yesterday, I got your shirt. Yes. Yeah, said she was just checking that I wasn't giving the out. I love my character, by the way. I am the witch. Oh, really? That's why I'm wearing green and black. Because I'm the witch. Jessica Vance. So tell me, Jessica. Oh, it's getting dark here. What do you think of opening number? It's yeah. a lot of fun. I think this year's is a lot better than last year's because I like that there's more ensemble work, and oh, I really? think it's fun. Yeah. Oh, tell me. Explain to the. Oh, all right. Explain to the people what opening number is. Um, opening number is uh, basically a group of thespians who are chosen by the audition process come together and put on a show with only one 15, 14 hour rehearsal. And they. So it's pretty much to. It's an opening number to open state. Yeah, right? it opens state. It opens okay. state. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah.
It's all right. All right. Just, just go forward. Uh, our goal for this run through is to do it as technically profound as we can. And then our goal for the performance will be to relax and have fun. Got it? Okay. You guys get reset. I'll burn you some music and we'll test it real, real quickly while, they're, uh, while we're getting the people in here. Um, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on right now? A house is open right now for opening numbers, so state is happening. And it's like 700 people here. Check it out. Excuse me, watch the table. It's okay. Whoop, excuse me, sir. Sorry about that. And 700 people in our school. How scary is that? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the enthusiasm. I told the cast that they're going to be performing today in front of the greatest hometown crowd they will ever see. And I believe there are about 600 people in the theater today, and so at opening number auditions next year, I will expect a turnout of 600. <laughs> Uh, over here we've got Megan Kumis and Joey Benedetto, also Tammy Bassani will help us out with you. <laughs> Everything that you just saw on stage was put together in 15 hours. Started at 8 o'clock yesterday morning, finished at about 10 o'clock yesterday, got here this morning, did a quick run through and there you go. So. Uh, the talent of the best friends here on stage. It's good morning. I've got a feeling that you could be feeling a whole lot better than you feel today. You say you got a problem, well that's no problem. It's super easy not to feel that way. When you start to get My soul is not you. My dad said to me, don't you dare start crying. Turn it off like a light switch, just don't flip. It's a nifty little corner trick. Turn it off. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 but that's not true. Being a gay is bad, but flying is worse. So just realize you have a terrible curse.
to your face again before the end of the day. You're going to spend the rest of the week in detention. Got that? <laughs>
up, you guys? I don't think. Lasha, yeah. you have a phone opening number. How are you guys yeah. feeling? And I'm, exha I'm exhausted, but it was fun. 700 people, man. 700 people. Yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. and look online. It'll talk about grant opportunities. And there's a whole, there's several grants for teachers. New teachers, teachers that have been teaching up to seven years, and teachers that have been teaching longer than seven years. I think it's seven. Is it seven? So um, go, go there. Fill out the grant application. You never know. You can get your whole registration paid for to go to, to that conference. It's schooltheater.org, school association. It's because of your teachers and because of our organization that represents us. She knew I was going to do this, but she didn't know when. <laughs> so here's Kristen McFadden. She lives in Ohio, and she came here to you to enjoy your conference. It's a uh, competition, and here are all the lists. And of course, we also get some fun workshops to do around here. So this is Nicholas Meek, uh, one of the state board chair. Tell me, Meek, uh, tell us about STO. Um, STO is um, state state pedestrian officers. Um, it is basically um, people um, who help the adult state board of Nevada to um, go and help um, go through their lives to help them. Work and work and work and work and work and help them work. So it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's oh. truly a lot. So and in today's state's conference, you're going to be choosing new STOs, right? Uh, no, not today. Uh, we're going to choose them tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm sorry. But it's pretty much in state conference. You... Yeah, state conference is when we choose new uh, new board every year. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking about between six to ten people, a couple from the north, a couple from the south, and maybe some from rural areas. So. All right, Nick. Well, I wish the best of luck to you. Thank you, sir. Hi, guys. He's a student. I'm going to let him tell it a little bit about himself and how he got hooked up as an OTO. Hi guys, who's excited? <laughs> like you said, I'm one of your five international testing officers. We serve a region. I'm from region one, it's like West Coast, including Nevada. So that's why I'm here this weekend. I think you guys were Washington the same weekend, so they're impressed me. <laughs> so far, I'm impressed. Um, running for ITO, pretty much in the spring, you fill out an application, it's about a survey about yourself, written response, and from there, they send it to the nominating committee. The nominating committee looks over applications, scores them, takes the average, then three people are selected for each position. From there, you go to the International Festival, festival like she talked about in the summer, and you campaign the entire week to leadership training, get to know all people from different states, and get to know people, and then at the end of the week, they all vote on who they want. So as ITO, you represent the entire country and the festival. So I represent you guys at the national level, like, national, national level. So it's pretty exciting. So make sure you come and introduce yourself. Um, say hi. I'd love to know you guys because I do represent you. So yeah, two more days. Come say hi. Thank you. A little bit later today, because we're going to bring them up. They're going to introduce themselves. They're going to tell you where they're from. And then you're going to see them around campus. Tomorrow, just before the main stage show, Wait Until Dark from Legacy High School. Just before the show, you're going to bring your ballot and give it to Michelle. And she's going to put them in a little, there's Michelle. 
She's going to put them in a little voting bag that we have. And then, uh, and that's how we're going to determine who our next STO are. The board, all of the board members, students and adults, get two votes, one for the north, one for the south. And everybody else, all the schools, get one vote. Those are tallied up. We haven't decided how, exactly how many we're taking. It's going to be somewhere between 6 and 12. Um, we don't know yet. It's going to depend on the votes. It's going to depend on how hard these guys work. I'm Alan Nevada. 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 I'm Alan
Where are you? Where okay, are you? Okay, 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 no more. Anyway, listen, in 20 minutes, you're going to be marrying a, a, a girl whose father owns the biggest tracts of open land in Britain. But I don't like her. Like it. What's wrong with her? I mean, she's beautiful, she's rich, she's got these, these huge <laughs> the tracts of land. <laughs> but father, I don't want land. <sighs> now listen, Alex. Herbert. Herbert, we live in a bloody swamp. <laughs> we sell mud for a living. I mean, I think we need all the other land we can get. Uh, but father, I want the person I marry to have a certain special Something. Where are you? Where? All right, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. All right? No more singing. You're marrying Princess Lucky, whether you want to or not, all right? <laughs> all right, gods. Make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Now to leave the room, even if you come and get him. <coughs> No, no, I'm, until I come and get him. Okay, so until you come and get him, we're not to enter the room. No, 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 no. no. You're, you're, you're staying here to make sure he doesn't leave. Okay, right? so we do nothing apart from stopping him from entering the room. No, no, leaving the room. <laughs> leaving the room. Got it. Got it? Got it. All right. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, if, um, if... What if, is it? If, um, if... Oh, no, no, listen, look. It's quite simple. You just stay here. To make sure the prince doesn't leave this room. Right. Until you or anyone else? No, not anyone else, just me. Just you get back. Get back. Alright, I'll stay right. here until you get back. <laughs> <laughs> make sure he doesn't leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> make sure he doesn't leave. I thought you meant him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems a bit daft to me that I have to guard him. Well, you know, he's a guard, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, clear? Oh, yes, quite clear. Got sir. it? Got, got it. it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to come back. No. Nope. Alright? Got it. No more? No. <laughs> Where are you going? We're following you. No, you're not supposed to follow me. You're supposed to stay here to make sure he doesn't leave the bloody room. Oh, I get it. Yes. But father. I'll set your trap you and get that suit on. Mm. And no singing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, you know, after your IEs and everything is done, you can pretty much go to workshops or anything like that, which is t being taught by real professional people who actually work in the industry. Mm -hmm. For example, I just went to this uh, producing workshop where I learned a lot about producing and raising up a show. So it takes a lot, but right now, you know, this is your start. How was that, by the way? Oh, it was great. The workshops are great. I mean, really, what else, can, what is, what, what else does a thespian want in this, in this weekend, you know? Exactly. Perform, it watch was, other shows, and, you know, do fun workshops. It wasn't boring? You think yeah, it was boring? Yeah, it was boring. was really interesting. It's great, I love workshops. They're the best. Really? Yeah. So that means you're coming tomorrow, too, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because tomorrow's nothing but workshops. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, everybody's waiting in line for this ice cream karaoke right, night. Elijah, what are we having tonight? What are we having? Yeah. Ice cream and yeah. songs. Oh, yeah? I can't wait to eat songs. I yeah, songs. Uh, apparently there's like a big line waiting for this thing. This guy's rocking out. What's up, you guys? Wait, How's it going, thespians? What's up? Music man tech. Music man tech. Yo. Awesome. Get it, Eric. Get it. Oh, my favorite. Uh, this is my good friend Alex. Victor Mon Dragon yeah. is the coolest hey. ever. Alex, come here. Why? Look at her eyes right now. She's brightly, you know. No, what? They're like hot. Really 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 now we're having ice cream. Do you have that E today? I have this E. We're eating the thing. If you have this E, carry on. Alright? Pretty much enjoy, have fun, hang out with new people, alright? Alright, thank you. How are people want to learn for karaoke to get here? So, um, Karen Sandrew, are you in the room?
I'm loving state. It's awesome. It's a lot of work and opening number. Oh my goodness. So tell me, how, how does it feel like having 700 people in our school right now? Crowded. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, dang. Also, don't you think that us thespians deserve, you know, more credit to Are... the school industry or, you know? Thespians is becoming such a big deal that people need to start noticing us or we will go cray cray. Too late. Hey. Listen, man, for too long have we lost our crowd to the football team, all right? Nothing but a bit, bunch of big, sweaty porpoises <laughs> with sharp teeth. I'm done. You know what? You know what? Theater is a lot of work, too, especially musical theater. It can be a workout. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah. See you one more time. Uh, thespians are the nicest people in the world. <laughs> State. So right now, pretty much we're going to workshops. It's an all-day of workshops, and afterwards, we have a mainstay show. And afterwards, it's the ending ceremony where we get all our words and the rubrics and the scores and all that. And there's the business side. You have to know when to use which. Um, usually, when you're at your school board, or your principal, you really want to talk about more about you as a student, um, as a person, as how it's affecting you, how theaters change your life, that kind of story. When you go to a school board. Um, sometimes, like school board's a little hard. Sometimes you have to do this combination of statistics. Get cut really, and like they're always by people I know, and they always have other sports people, like for gym or what other things. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about theater has become a major asset in our lives. As a whole, we thespians have become a close knit community, but we have very little support in that we need, the art society would be extremely grateful. The performing art means the world to us, and we would hate to see it dwindle. Thank you. International Thespian Society. International Thespian Society. Good job. <laughs> of people that go into the classroom for theater get more creative and also with theater they become more they memorize more and they like learn to speak better. Um, I learned that at 90 no sorry at just like the majority of Nobel uh, Peace Prize winners uh, have theater backgrounds and theater hobbies mm -hmm. and also the statistic that he said about um, how uh, students who had four, uh, four years of, of drama um, scored 102 points higher than uh, kids who had had only one and a half years of drama. Program, and I've been involved in theater since I was five years old, and this school's program is the most amazing program that I've been involved in so far. How has theater helped you acad academically? Academically, well, I've always been a straight-A student ever since I was little. And so, I mean, that might have an impact on it. And... Um, so theater, it, all, it like also helps my memory, you know, and yeah. <laughs> um, so that says a lot about how it helps you personally, but budget's tight, so how will this help the majority of the school? Well, it helps, it 
teaches people to work together, which is a fundamental skill that lots of people don't have in the workplace, and people are often just independent and work by themselves, but when you get in a real life situation, you actually need to work together, and theater wouldn't be the same if we all couldn't work together. But how does that affect the school? How does that affect the school? Arts is important, and we can't forget about the arts, and if we don't have the drama two and the drama three program, then we won't have the shows going on, and it'll, it'll be like an art that's like dying at our school, we can't have that. It's amazing. Walking around, people, hey, you want to sign my shirt? Yeah. This is Spencer Spud. He's uh, part of the International Thespian Officer. So tell me, what's like being ITO? It's such a great experience. Um, I learned both how, more about the arts every time I go to teach at a conference. Mm -hmm. And it's really taught me a lot about myself. Um, I learned a lot about the business world, how it works. And each state is so different, but I love it. It's a phenomenal experience. So can you tell us, do you think theater gets recognized as much as it should be? That's kind of a hard question. I feel like it's growing. Mm -hmm. I feel like students, students, both students and educators are finding ways to get their program out there and to speak more. So it's growing. I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement, mm -hmm. but I'm proud of where we're going. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything to say to uh, Nevada Thespians today? Thank you guys. It's been one of my favorite conferences. Mm -hmm. um, huge turnout at the workshop. That's the biggest workshop turnout I've ever had. Right. Um, everyone's so passionate here and it's really well ran. Well ran. Red or. It's ran well. <laughs>
So Robert, tell me, what do you think of theater? I, that changed my life. Completely changed my life. And I'm so happy that I got this experience. Really? Uh, what, what do you thought of the yeah, State Conference today? Uh, fantastic. Two, my best friend is an STO. Mm -hmm. They both got superiors. I'm so ridiculously happy. I can't even talk right now. I'm just so happy. I, I can't even talk. All right, man. Take care, Robert. Hey. Chat, two superiors, yeah. man. How are you feeling? Uh, we just won a superior for Spamalot. Uh -huh. And I'm celebrating with this. Awesome, man. No, 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 no. Congratulations to you for getting recognized. Uh, Congratulations on getting recognized for your scholarship. I'm going to... I got two superiors. Yes. I'm going to... I have a full, a full scholarship to internationals. Yes. Nothing stopping me. Nothing is stopping me now. No. Yeah. Except maybe money. I can you yes sir, I got a scholarship. Yes, Anyways, so congratulations. <laughs> and, uh, Tell me, what do you thought of state today? State, best thing ever in my life. Mm -hmm. I got a superior, my first superior ever. Uh huh. I didn't even think about it. And STO was amazing, just saying. Yep. Best thing ever. And I got a, I got this gold bracelet thing oh, really? like, all Broadway shows. Oh, awesome. dude, you like got that? 30, that was like cool. twenty-three dollars. Oh, yeah. You actually wanted this one? Yes. I'm uh, surprised. I wasn't that big yeah. like I always am. I'm really sorry that you didn't make it to the state board. Well, life moves on. It's fine. All right, man. So, are you planning on going to internationals? Yes, I know. I'm actually thinking about running for ITO. Maybe. Maybe. I deck. Well, we wish the best of luck to you, Matthew. You too, Mr. So, Roger. Go on, you too. Uh, this was Nevada. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that. So this Go is ahead. Nevada State. <laughs>
So. Oh God, my little forehead. You done? Go, go. You done? Oh no, just go. This is Nevada State uh, yes. Thespian Conference, and we all had a great time with workshops, IEs, and all that. And this is what the theater life really is all is about. I mean, it's the greatest program I've ever been in. Obviously, yeah. we should get you know recognized for it. Yeah, we deserve more hope, more support. Yeah, see, you got you got background music too. Yeah, I mean, how this is the best. I mean, you can't get better any better than this. So, um, congrats to all of you in the Thespian Conference. Uh, congrats to the International Thespian Society, and um, saying goodbye to everybody. I'll see you all at Internationals. Thank you. So here we are at internationals, and we are ready, getting ready to go on a plane, you know, to head out to Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm here with my friend. Oh, sorry. And everything. Sorry. Wait, what's our bet? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I like that. Bad match. Uh, Green. Thanks, bro. It matches my shirt I have for later this week. You will see it. <laughs> So what's going on here is that um, we're on a plane right now and we just landed. As you can see, we are in Nebraska now. You guys thought of uh, the airplane right? It was long. Really? Yeah, yeah. Long, made some new friends. It's a good conversation. Yeah. By the way, these are uh, these are thespians we're going into uh, Nebraska now. You guys excited for festival? Yeah. Yes, we are. Representing California. We are at. Nebraska, and this is uh, the University of uh, Nebraska, and we're here at um, the festival. It's right there. Welcome to Yep. Well, uh, this is Nick. He's uh, my, my roommate, actually. How's it going, Nick? Yeah, it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm here roomating with uh, Bo and Matt, but they're out somewhere. But uh, I gotta thank this guy for helping me videotape this thing. Yeah, what can I say? So, uh, how do you like in festival, dude? Festival? Well, eh. The thing that we did last night I thought was boring, honestly. But I like watching the IEs, mm -hmm. and I really like student performers. Mm -hmm. So I like seeing that. And I'm excited to go see The Color Purple tonight. And so far, things have been going great. Get to sleep in this morning. <laughs> yeah, I, it's fine. Two hour time difference killing me. He's gonna wake up every morning. I feel sexually this. harassed. <laughs> so, here we are with my roommate. This is our dorm, right over here. And so you know it's pretty chill. We have a little mini fridge. 
and you know desk that's really totally messed up and all that. All right, so you guys remember this guy, Matthew Denny, from uh, State Conference. And so tell me, Denny, what do you think of festival so far? Festival is pretty cool right now. I'm taking a lot of workshops, doing a lot of stuff. Oh, really? Meet some awesome people. Oh, yeah. I'd like you. Thank you. Appreciate oh. that. Wow, so watch this in like 30 years and be like, <laughs> my friends were not That guy sucks. Also, the mainstay shows are pretty much from uh, different other high schools that got adjudicated to come here and perform in front of everybody. So, you know, the shows that I've been taking video of, you know, they're all high schools. It's not professional. And, you know, it's actually really good. You know, otherwise they wouldn't be here. So, yeah. So, yeah, everybody right now is waiting for uh, the main stage show going on. Huh? And here, yeah, uh, yeah, but everybody's waiting. Can, tonight they're playing uh, the color purple. And this is the lobby where we are about to see the color purple, which is uh, one of the main stage shows coming up right over there. You know? And this, my friend, is the theater. And it is huge. Alright, so this is Bo, and we just came out of uh, the show. Yeah, so, we did. Bo, tell me, what do you thought of the show? It was a show. Hey, cheers, man. It was a pretty good show. I'm excited. But I'm even more excited for this dance party. Oh yeah, we're going out dancing. Yeah, we're excited. What happened tonight, Victor? I uh, I uh, I danced you with a girl. Done by and who helped you with that? You did. Oh yeah, it's no big deal or anything. Anyone could have done it. It just took the effort. Wait, step. say it one more time, Victor. Sorry. I danced with a girl tonight. That's why you test these girls before you dance with them. <laughs> what we have there is a squirrel. We don't get those in Vegas, but here in Nebraska, wow. Yeah, it's a whole point. Come get it. He just threw some popcorn. Uh, that didn't work. Throw a little father to him. Uh, oh, oh, he's coming, he's coming. Right, he's man. coming this way. So, it is uh, Thursday, and the second show we're going to be seeing is uh, Legally Blonde, the musical, which play in. Uh, around uh, Green Valley a while back, but he fell the, the sh yeah, I fell asleep to it. <laughs> so now we're gonna watch it again. So today is uh, Wednesday and there's our second show coming up. I'm here with Sam. We're about to see Legally Blonde right now. Excited for that? Yes, actually, because I love Legally Blonde. You've seen it before? Yeah, I saw it at Green Valley. Really? I'm excited that you're gonna see it in like in this really big stage. Yeah, the stage is ridiculous. This is your first time here, right? No, we saw well first time at festival. Yeah. Yeah, first year at festival. How are you liking it so far? It's amazing. Um, and I have had a lot of really cool opportunities. I'm really? in Playworks and I'm doing college scholarship auditions. And that's Bliss. How's it going, Bliss? I'm doing good. I'm excited it's really for hot, so I'm gonna get some water. All right, excited for the Where show. Are you going to get water? I'm so excited. I don't know. I am just gonna. Let's do it, because I want water too. And I was like, do you just, know where to go? Just letting you know, it costs $2 for just a small little bottle. What? It costs $2 for a bottle. More than $2. No. That's not even worth it. $2. I'm so thirsty. This, this is McKinney Boyd High School. Lately Blonde, the musical, by Lawrence O'Keefe, Nell Benjamin, Heather Pack, and directed by Vicki Kirkley. Enjoy the show.
Yeah, so I just got down through workshops and the best part I think of the day is going to up to the cafeteria line because they have the best food. So I am here with my great friend. So I'm here. What? All right. So I'm here with. Yo, I'm here with my great friends eating some delicious snacks and food and everything. And what do you guys think of the food over here? It's amazing, isn't it? It's not bad. It could be better sometimes. I think it's great for cafeteria food. So I got this uh, new tattoo going on. Can I take Check it out. out for dinner? And then there's everybody else at Tell getting ready to see one of the shows. And look at this. And look at the size of that stage. So, Matt, what do you thought of the show last uh, tonight? Tonight, I thought the show was awesome possums. Really? And like, I really like the main guy. All right. So right now, I am off to competition. You know, for IEs and all that. And if you guys remember, I scored excellent in regionals, and then I scored superior at state. Once you score a superior in state, you can go on to the higher rank, which this is the last stage where you go and perform your stuff and you see how much you've grown and see what's your final progress over the year that you made. And now I'm, I'm off to do this and I, I think I'm ready. My name is Victor Mazagon and I'm from uh, Troop 6730. I'll be doing a monologue from uh, The Whole Shebang by Rich Olaf and one from The Youngest by uh, Philip Herr. Okay, so um, it was last summer, and I was having uh, this uh, really lousy day. I mean, like 100% soccer lousy. It was like, what, 100 degrees outside? 
and 100% humidity. Oh, it was even worse inside my house because, you know, I just got my air conditioning repossessed. Yeah. Oh, and then the mail came in, and it was all bills, you know, big ones. Now that I got so mad, you know, that I didn't know what to do. So yeah, I, I went into my house, tried to watch some TV, but the thing is, I have lousy TV reception, so I couldn't see a darn thing. You know, that I got so mad that I took off my shoe and I threw it at the TV. It didn't break. It didn't break. Whew, thank God. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I left my house and I went into my backyard. On my way to the backyard, I stopped in the kitchen, you know, to go grab myself a beer. Alright, so how many of you guys are beer drinkers? Nope, nope, alright, alright, I guess not. Anyway, so um, when you drink a beer, it's uh, either too cold or not cold enough, or just you know, too much foam, or you know, just lots of bread. But hey, you still drink it, because you know that's what life's about. Accepting the beer you were given. <laughs> but this beer, wow, it was delicious. <laughs> it was right. I mean, I still remember sitting in my bathroom and thinking, wow, I'm broke. I'm unemployed. I have a lousy TV reception. But this moment, this moment was perfect. <laughs> now you listen to me, my dear family, and don't you interrupt. Ever since I remember, you guys have been taking unholy pleasure, finding new ways to mortify me. Because I was the youngest. Because I was different from the rest of you. And I didn't hit back. Don't know whether Mark's been the worst one, with this eternal pity nagging, or are you Oliver, with this stupid idea that I'm not. It's a goddamn duty to finger into shape. Or maybe it's been you, Augusta, with your fairly sharp tongue. Mother's done nothing but follow your orders. Martha's been decent as she could be, with a love for what's funny. But you all had your methods. Yes, yes, that's just the point. Nobody's got any right to make anything out of anyone. My future's my job, and if I fail at it, all right, all right. I'd rather fail in my own way than hit the sky in somebody else's. Thank you. Well, so I just perform, and um, here it is, my, uh, uh, in the national individual event, and I, I did it. I went from, you know, a low excellent to like a superior, and now I'm here in Nebraska with a scholarship, and I just perform. Boom. Check it out. And I'm feeling so happy right now, and now there's only one thing I gotta do. Enjoy the rest of the festival, because you know what? I have one week of doing nothing but theater. These are men in dresses. See that? Do I do it again? I mean, it's it's a really good opportunity for people to come together and share theater. I mean, it's incredible that you can have so many people from so many different places in America and around the world. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 pretty awesome. All right, sweet. And so, are you excited to see thirteen? Um, I have no idea what it's going to be. I am kind of excited because right here it says there is a song sung by Evan and the Rabbis. Uh -huh. Anything oh. with rabbis in it. I mean, Jewish myself, so yeah, no, that's pretty self explanatory. Alright, All right, so, you know, now we're getting ready to see a 13. I have the script actually. And yeah, man, it's festivals going chill. You do this every day. Workshops, then come here in the morning to watch some sweet plays. Just look at that size of that theater. It's crazy. And the best part, I get to meet different people from different places.
that, Jenny? Hi, Tia. It's by far the most amazing place I've ever been in my life. And I appreciate it if you all go. Thank you, America. So what do you guys think of ITF so far? Loving ITF. It's my last one here, and I'm just glad I'm going out with great shows. I'm like some other guys have been here. Um, this is my first ITF. Oh, really? And, yeah. And I've been having a lot of fun. I've learned a lot, made a lot of friends, and seen a lot of good shows. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I've been spending the whole day with my good friend Nick. We went to the movie theater and all that. And, you know, now we're... Now we're here watching this one bop, one act that I actually directed. You see, um, at internationals, you can bring a one act over here if you get, you know, superior rating at internationals. So yeah, here's the theater. It's, it's a small. It's not as big as the other one, but it's, you know, it's pretty big. Main stage show that we've seen so far? Um, definitely Corum Boy for me. Yeah, that's Corum exactly Boy? what I was thinking. Either Corum Boy or Title of Show, but I have a bit of bias about Title of Show. I never looked on Corum Boy. So, um, what is guys' favorite main stage show so far? Peter Pan. Definitely. Um, mine probably would be. Ooh, I like Corum Boy just because it was visually cool to watch. Right. Everybody says Corum Boy. That's pretty much almost everybody's favorite. Yeah, yeah. it's, a, it's really, really Corum Boy or Peter Pan, really. So, what's you guys' favorite mainstay show? Peter Pan. Yeah. Peter Pan? Yes. It's a toss-up between Peter Pan and Corn Boy. That was amazing. They're right there. They're right up there. <laughs> together. I think Shrek's going to be really good too. Shrek's I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Corn Boy or Elephant Man? Elephant Man? Yeah. Those are two of my favorites. Uh, I'd have to say it either be uh, title of the show, for me. title of the show, or or the color purple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same. Chandler. I didn't do. Where, where did you get Stella? Stella. This kid over here only have many people's names. Very much to be kind. Just in case, what is it? Alright, roll! Wait, let me have to get out my pockets. Yeah, Vic is recording. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Alright, all three. One, two, three. Oh, those going crooked! Are we gonna mess up? Okay. Victor and Bo rolling down the hill. And action. Yeah, Victor. Woo! Gonna go hit that bush. And that is how we end up all the way over there. Here with uh, Mario. He plays John Proctor from The Crucibles, one of the main stage shows here. So uh, tell me about yourself, uh, Mario. Well, i um, lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan for the last about 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, I think of myself as a big sports guy, however. Oh, really? I, like, I do love movies and I'm a big movie buff. Mm -hmm. I all my inspiration came from Daniel Day-Lewis as himself. Right. And uh, I would love to become a professional actor. Be wow. So, uh, what do you think? How do you think you did as the Crucible, as you know, John Proctor? How I did? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something right now. I don't think I've ever gotten as loud as I did really? in um, Wednesday morning's performance. So I was definitely proud of that. And oh, wow. My goal, if I can make myself cry at the end of the show, <laughs> you know, it's a good show. Oh yeah. So how, how is it, you know, performing in front of, you know? Thespians at ITF. I gotta tell you, it's a better audience. Really? It's a better audience. Oh yeah, for, yeah, I know what you mean. Kids, because they know what's going on for sure. Yeah, exactly. They study these shows. So that's oh, yeah. always fun. So, so how are you liking uh, in uh, the Thespian Festival? Well, it's fun. It's my first time here. Really? And so I'm having a lot of fun. 
All right. The only the only thing my concern is the weather. But other than yeah, that, the weather. Yeah. It's all it's endurable. Yeah. You know. But I gotta say, you're really committed. You ha you have the beard, the hair. You're like you're like a perfect John Proctor. Okay. Thank uh, you. I'm obliged. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Mario. It was nice. It's nice meeting you. Just had zombies. Uh -huh. Walker, the walker next to mine. Oh, sweet. The Amish project. Mm -hmm. Wooden pair. Uh -huh. I never saw another butterfly. Right. And then Summer Night's Dream in Seuss. Sweet. MTI Theatrical Resources. It's a Wonderful Life the Musical. Uh -huh. It's a Wonder Life radio play. Uh -huh. And an Edgar Allan Poe play. How much did all those cost? Um, best not to talk about that on camera. Okay then. <laughs> I know. That is so funny. What? Hey, uh, I just went to Friends of Matt Denny and says, no friends to show. <laughs> what? I went to Friends on your thing because I'm not sure if I was friends with Victor or not. So I was going to go to yours and then add him from your friends list that says, no friends to show. <laughs> wow. I have like the possibly the most friends in the world. I got like a nine. How many Sorry, friends do yeah. you have? I have probably a good 900. 900? I have like 150. I have a thousand. Fuck you guys. My yeah. butt, you have a thousand. I seriously you have a thousand friends on Facebook. You do not have more than me. I have a thousand. Check it out. Just, just go to my profile and you'll see. Here's some important announcements from the festival side. There seems to be some confusion about where the two different technical auditions are being held today. Thespian scholarship technical auditions are being held in Pound Cafeteria. So this is Jackie. She's ITO Region 4 rep. Mm -hmm. So um, she's ITO, International Thespian Officer. So Jackie, tell me, uh, how's it like being ITO? Um, it's a great opportunity. Um, lots of different experiences, not only in theater, but also um, to grow um, leadership skills and develop those and people skills as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you do as, as ITO? As an ITO, um, we have the privilege of traveling to numerous state conferences. So different states will get together and hold theater festivals, I suppose. So we have the privilege of going to attend those and helping um, run those. We also raise money for Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, which is a big charity um, that, again, um, provides money to those people with AIDS. And then we also help select recipients for scholarships and grants and things like that. So you and this, um the international board pretty much run this whole entire thing. I, it's not just the students, mm -hmm. although um, we do try to be the voice for the students and um, we run most of the student-led events. Um, we also have a great board of adults who work mm -hmm. so hard to work out um, all the behind the, th the scenes things that um, students don't necessarily always see. And so tell me, how does the election for the new ITOs work? It's actually an application process. So first, um, students across the country will apply for different positions, and then a board of past ITO will receive the applications that have been whited out with all personal information, like name and where they're from. From those applicants, the top three is selected for each position, and then those top three are then asked to come to the International Thespian Festival to be candidates. Um, when they candidate here, they will be asked to um, respond to an interview question as well as give a speech in front of a group of leadership kids. I'm here with uh, Sarah. She's an ITO candidate, as yeah. you can see. So um, tell me, Sarah, how's it like running for ITO? <laughs> it's not for everybody. It is a very, very stressful situation. Honestly, have an open mind when you come here. It's all about volunteering. It's proving yourself. Mm -hmm. But it is the best experience. I came here last year. I'm here again this year running as an ITO. I had mm -hmm. my election tomorrow. Best of luck. And what it's, position are you running for? I'm running for communications editor. Oh, wow. So it is really fulfilling, but it's mm -hmm. also really stressful. So if you're going to do it, know that you have to put work in. As an ITO, like, what do you do as an ITO? ITOs really help put together state conferences and things like that. They help run this whole festival. Without them, this would not be possible. They help communicate with the thespians. They really do all the behind scenes work. They're our voice, right? They're the thespians' voice. As communications editor, my job is to like 
uh, stay up to date with connections and with communications through like social media. Mm -hmm. um, my big idea is to establish a thespian newsletter this year. I talk about that in my speech tomorrow and I'm really hoping that'll go well and that'll get established because I think it's really cool and important. Great. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Sarah. I wish you the best of luck for you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. So this is DeAndre. He is the new ITO for Region 1. And he said from all of us, he's from Nevada. So, so tell me, uh, DeAndre, how are you feeling about that? Um, well, I answered this question once already today. Um, it's pretty awesome as of right now. I don't officially start until about July 1st, so... All right. Don't know yet, but how I like how it feels, feels, and then I get my sash some uh, a little later in July. Um, but as of right now, it feels pretty amazing. The IITF is going absolutely great. You know, I've been taking a whole bunch of workshops. Yeah, you can do workshops over here twice a day. Let me show you a list. Right here, and you can do from you know acting to uh, auditions, college and careers, dance, directing, dramatic writing. Hold on, there's another page here, and yes. just some general stuff, musical theater, stage combat, and teachers, and here's a list of all the workshops, and I've been through a few, and I, I gotta say, you know, they're, they're incredible. <laughs> got out uh, through a musical theater workshop and now I am um, heading out to uh, Thespian Playworks to have a stage reading. What Thespian Playworks is, is when somebody can write a play and they submit it here at internationals and they get to have the play to be in workshops. It's about to start right now and my good friend Charmaine is playing so I'm there to support her. All right. I'm here with Charmaine Velasco. She's actually in uh, Playworks. Uh, thanks for being Playworks. So, uh, it's right there. What's the play again? Uh, the play by the actual Henrik. So, Jermaine, uh, tell me. Actuality. So, tell me about Playworks. How is it? Playworks is a really fun experience. You try to put down, put uh, play written uh -huh. by a student together in just four days. Really? Yep, and you have lighting designers, costume designers. Uh -huh sound designer, stage manager, so it's almost a whole show. And so how's it like, you know, do, doing Playworks? Doing Playworks is really, really fun. It's uh, an amazing experience, and I just enjoy going to rehearsals and getting ready and practicing and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he will. I don't. But I can't know. There's no way to. His heart is beating, but the heart tells me. And we have short talk back to be the dramaturg, Lindsay Price. Woo! Uh, so the first thing I want to say is, uh, really, could we please give another round of applause? These guys came in on uh, Tuesday afternoon and have just literally dealt with everything, everything that was thrown at them. <laughs> Rose petals, uh, and they just never face them for a second. And it's just, uh, I think that's really wonderful. Uh, so we just sort of have two things that we're sort of looking for. So are you guys going to miss ITF? Definitely. Definitely. It's a really fun experience. And it's been a really good week. Every single year, I can't wait to come back the next year. All right, so it's the, it's the end of the festival. And as you can see, I'm, I'm getting ready for the end of the ceremony. Because, you know, I receive a scholarship, and I have to get an award along with other people, for example, showcase, people who have the highest scores in their IEs, play works, and scholarships, you know, and a whole bunch of student awards that's going to be going on tonight. So, it's a great way to end the festival with all this great stuff 
acknowledging other people for the great things they've done for theater. We have signed up. Staged readings for four scripts from the Playworks program will begin at 2 o'clock p.m. in Westbrook. And one high school's Thespian Troop, 6735. <laughs> Got a festival. It's awesome. Really? Are you gonna miss it? Yes. Yeah. Very much I'm so. I'm so sad I'm a senior. I can't come back. I'm coming back. <laughs> she gets to come back. I don't. Yeah. Like, what, what was your favorite part? You know, of being part of ITF. I just love meeting everyone from around the country. I think it's yeah. so cool because we all do the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's always cool to see it's all the same. Yeah. Not exactly what I expected. 
Well, maybe you shouldn't judge people before you get to know them. <laughs> so, tell me about them. My camera takes terrible pictures at night. Here, whatever. Where are they? Yeah, where do they go? I know. What the hell is this in the garden? Oh, look. He's videoing you guys. Go. Let's, let's do it. Ready? Okay, do it. Ready? Dance. Ready? Go. Dance. Five, six, seven, eight. This is my troop. Yep. This is my troop. This is my family. I just came out of the our last dance, hanging out with the group. I had a real blast, and now everybody's heading back to the dorms because you know tomorrow morning we're flying out, and it's the last day of festival. I know so. My, my last festival, and it was a great experience, and you get to see exactly what a thespian journey is, and it's a great journey, and I wish for everybody to know how a great journey this is. David Kelly! Come on, you go home. That was so funny. We'd all just be standing there talking about something, he'd just be over there doing that. Oh, laugh so hard. So now we are packing up. It's time to head out. See you, dude. Bye. All right, so now we're no, heading out to the plane. The big smart one. And this is where the, the journey ends. We start from regionals, then building up all the way over here. This uh, the journey of a thespian. And I'm a senior, so it's my last fail. And I gotta say, it was it was great, and I hope you enjoyed it. So this is pretty much the theater life. It's good. Walk away. I want to get you walking away. Hey, Victor, you left your blanket. <laughs> and he comes back. Cause I'm no knight and I'm no prince But I am convinced That I can sweep you off your feet With a simple melody I'm gonna sing it to your balcony Once you open up the 